Namaste. You know, sometimes a word is translated almost like with an ulterior motive to denigrate our tradition. One such word is Das. So we have Das and the Westerners have translated it as slave and we've accepted this. So the Devadasis then are sort of slaves of the temple. This, mm -hmm. this sort of thing has happened. So please explain the difference between Das and slave. Yeah, there is a big difference in these two words. So, Dasa is not a slave as it is understood. As we know that slave is a person who is like under the authority of another person, he is completely controlled that by that person, whether the slave likes it or does not like it. It is not voluntary, it is not willingly. Yeah. Like, you know, they took a lot of slaves from African countries to many other countries. And from India to Central Asia. And, yeah, and from During India also. Yeah. So they are the slaves. This is, this is the meaning of the word slave in English. But the person held in servitude as the chattel of another, one that is completely subservient to a dominating influence. So they are dominated by another person. So it's almost like property. Yeah, it's like property. It's like you own them. Yeah, they don't and in fact, saves are bought and sold. Yeah, saves. They're yeah, just like any other object. Right. They were bought, they were sold, and they were mistreated. Right. No one really bothered about right. whether they have to eat properly, they have their basic needs fulfilled or not. Mm -hmm. They were just treated like animals. Right. They were not even treated like human beings. The way the way they carried, if you read the stories, you know, it's heartbreaking. Right. So they, they were not looked at as, as human beings. So that is not what a dasa means. Actually, in our dharma, dasa has a very high connotation. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a sloka, aham hare tav dasan dasa bhavitasmi bhuya. Mm -hmm. That I actually want to be not your dasa, but I want to be a dasa of dasa. Mm -hmm. So now if you <laughs> translate it as slave, then this guy is willing and wishing and praying to God that make me a slave of a slave, you know. Right. So if you understand the meaning of the slave in English, the way it is used, who wants to be like that? Hmm. So dasa means that I submit myself to Bhagwan completely and I want to be with him and I want to serve him like we spoke about the word seva. Hmm. So the dasa is one who wants to do seva to Bhagwan, and that is the pleasure. Like we have the example of Hanuman. So Hanuman is a dasa of Ram. Mm. And he is happy to be like that. Yes. That is his greatest pleasure. Yeah. In fact, when Bhagwan Ram returned from Sri Lanka after conquering over Ravana and he came back to Ayodhya, then all other people, you know, Sugriva, Jambavan and Angada, many of these associates, they also came. And then Bhagwan Ram was coronated as the king of Ayodhya. And then after some time they have to return back. So he was calling one by one and he was giving them gifts and he was giving them posts that, you know, Vibhishan, you be the king of Sri Lanka and Sugriva, you be the king of all the monkey, you know, army and all that. So then Hanuman is also sitting. So Hanuman was called and he says, what do you want? So he says that you are giving pada to everybody. Your pada means post or position. But I don't want one pada, I want two padas. So he says, what do you mean? He says, I want these padas, because pada also means foot. Yes. So he says, I just want to be your dasa mm. for the rest of my life, and this is my only prayer. So he's, Hanuman got that position, therefore he is considered as the best of all other associates like Sugriva, Jambavan and Angada, Vibhishana. So Hanuman is superior because he is doing service. So Ram, practically wherever you go, any temple, anywhere, you see Hanuman there. Mm. So if he was just a slave, then he will not be like that. You don't see any master along with their slave being worshipped. Right. So Dasa is a very high position. And it is a very desirable position. It's humility, it's voluntary yes. humility for, for seva. Yeah, because this is the natural position of the jiva, is a dasa. Mm. Dasa, bhak, dasa bhuto hare reive. 
that we are actually dasa of hari or krishna because that's our natural position and that's why in the material world also when we do service out of love to any person we feel satisfied and happy mm. so then you can imagine if we do this seva to bhagwan out of love because that's our constitutional position mm. so that's why dasa is not same as slave at all although sometimes that meaning may be derived from it right so in india we have you know great personalities like tulsi das mm. you know we apply name sur das and ram das ram das mm. and krishna das you know my my name is also i am also das so we are not like slave as it is understood in the sense good so this is a good one the the dasa you can't translate it and hanuman is just hanuman we should not call him monkey god he's just no, he's, hanuman no we should not call him monkey god he's hanuman and hanuman is hanuman right yeah. actually hanuman. the word hanuman does not mean monkey also it means no hanu means this it sounds more like human yeah hanuman <laughs> is actually chin because he fell down and he hurt his chin that's how uh-huh. he got this name hanu hanu means yeah. chin chin yeah wonderful Yes. This is very interesting and clarifying. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.